Hi everyone, and welcome to the next video in my beginner series for Realm of the Mad God. In this video, I will be going through important things to know once you've reached the max level in the game. I would explain how stats work and how you can max them in the most efficient yet safe manner possible. One thing that is important to understand before setting out on your journey of maxing your character's stats is that certain classes have different max stats, meaning that they need different amounts of potions in order to max each stat. Here is an overview of all the classes with max stats for each class respectively. In Realm of the Mad God, there are eight different stats that a character has. Attack, Speed, Vitality, Defense, Dexterity, Wisdom, Mana, and Life. I will go through each of these stats and describe how they work, beginning with Attack. The Attack stat increases the amount of damage your weapon does. It increases the amount of bonus damage that is added to each shot that you shoot. However, attack does not increase the damage of your ability. Attack is crucial for your character's damage output. The speed stat refers to the speed that you can travel across tiles in the game. It is very straightforward and means that the more speed you have, the faster you can outrun bullets and rush dungeons. This stat is less important in the early game, but very important in the late game. The Vitality stat is the rate at which your character regenerates its health points. This means that the more vitality you have, the faster your character's health is restored. The Defense stat is responsible for decreasing the amount of damage you take by one for each one point of defense you have, but it caps at 90% of the total damage of the attack. One thing to be noted regarding the Defense stat is that certain attacks can pierce armor, meaning that they ignore your character's defense. This is indicated through the damage numbers being purple instead of red. The Dexterity stat dictates your weapon's rate of fire. The more dexterity you have, the faster you can shoot with your weapon. This too is crucial for your character's damage output. The Wisdom stat refers to the rate of which your character regenerates its mana points. This means that the more wisdom you have, the faster your character's mana is restored. Wisdom also increases the power of certain abilities if it exceeds 50. This can be either range, radius, duration, intensity, damage or healing for some abilities. The mana stat is the resource that your class-specific ability uses. It's pretty simple. It works like in any other game. The life stat refers to your character's health points. Having more health is extremely useful in many situations, like not dying. Hence, it is the most valuable stat and the most valuable stat potion in the game. Another thing that I would like to mention is that stat potions exists in two variations. Normal ones and greater ones. Both are dropped from bosses or mobs in blue so-called pot bags. The difference between greater and normal stat potions is firstly that they increase your stat with two instead of one. Because of this, greater potions are more difficult to acquire since they drop from harder content. Now that I've talked about what the stats are, I would like to explain how one can max these stats in the most efficient yet safe manner possible. There are tons of ways to max your stats, but this is the way you should be doing it in the Godlands. You max out stats by drinking stat potions until your stat turns yellow and you can't drink any more potions. Stat potions are, as I mentioned previously, dropped in so-called pot bags, which are blue. These bags can also contain other kinds of rewards as well. The stat that I usually max first is either speed or dexterity. My reason for this is that the stats are both very important for clearing and rushing dungeons, but they are also the easiest stats to come by. Speed potions drops from Steno in the Snake Pit, while dex potions drops from Limos in the Sprite World. Both of these dungeons can easily be cleared on an unmaxed character. Speed potions can also drop in the Godlands if you're lucky, and there also exists a dungeon that drops both of these potions, called the Magic Woods. This dungeon is a bit rarer to come by, but it should always be run if it drops and you're looking to max your character. After you've successfully maxed speed and dexterity, I would personally focus on maxing defense and wisdom. Wisdom potions can be found in the Undead Lair and drops from Subtavius. Wisdom can also drop from Dr. Terrible in the Mad Lab, 
but keep in mind that rushing the Mad Lab can be a bit tricky on an unmaxed character. Defense is found in the Toxic Sewers and drops from Gold Lord. Defense pods can also be fairly commonly dropped from different gods in the Godlands. One notable dungeon that is a bit harder but that can both drop greater potions of wisdom and defense is the Crawling Depths. This dungeon is a bit harder than the previously mentioned dungeons, but it can drop greater rewards. After you have maxed defense and wisdom, you will be halfway to maxing all your stats. The next step is to max vitality and attack. Vitality potions can be found in the Abyss of Demons and in the Cursed Library. Attack can be found in the Puppet Master's Theater. However, the dungeon The Woodland Labyrinth can drop both greater attack potions and greater vitality potions. To max both of these stats, I would recommend to spam this dungeon. Attack potions can also drop fairly frequently from gods in the godlands. When you have maxed the first six stats, your next task will be a bit harder. Mana is the next stat to max, and it can be found commonly in the Ice Cave and in the Ocean Trench, as well as in the Crawling Depths. These dungeons appear fairly infrequently, so it might take a while to max this stat. The last stat is Life. Life can drop from many different late game sources, however I would only recommend two spots for easily farming these potions. These spots would be the Deadwater Docks and the Cultist Hideout in the Lost Halls. Both of these places are fairly hard dungeons and can drop life potions but are significantly easier to run than the other alternatives. This has been a quick guide on how to max your characters after reaching the level cap in Realm of the Mad God. If you find yourself struggling along the path to maxing your character, you can always come back to this video to get yourself on the right track. There are of course other dungeons that can drop these potions I've talked about, but these dungeons are the ones I would deem the safest dungeons to farm when you're not an experienced player. However, if you yourself are an experienced player and would like to give tips to the newer players on how to max their characters in Realm of the Mad God, then please share them in the comments below. Now I would like to give a special thanks to my friend Dvogar for helping me with editing this video. Make sure to check him out in the description below. If you like this type of content or you want to see more videos like these, consider liking or sharing this video or perhaps subscribing to my channel. Take care!